All right, folks. So today we have two of my students training. Unfortunately, I have uh, broken a bone in my pinky toe of my foot. So these guys are going to train. I'm going to advise and we can watch as we go. So for now, they're just doing some rotating drives focused on basic targets and basic accuracy. From there, we're going to progress the session a little bit to work on options in the alley. And finally, from there, we're going to add in some anticipation work out of the front of the court. So at the moment, one of the differences you see is that the gentleman in blue, his name is Ahmed, he is not quite centering himself on the tee, and his movement off his shot is a little bit slower. If you watch Elliot in the gray top, he's pushing off of his shot with a decent amount of pace and power, and he's a little bit more neutral than the court. Now, there's probably a time and a place for each one of these approaches. If you're working on a particular technical aspect of your game and you don't necessarily want the movement to be a major, major limiting factor, you might adjust your movement the way Ahmed does. So one suggestion, right now when you're moving off the ball, you're a little bit late, with your, you're a little slow with your first step, and then you're kind of a little bit quicker as you're getting to the tee, which is then resulting in you kind of like making a little stop, like a harder stop before you move off. So try to like finish your swing and then push off with a little bit more power there so you can get to the tee and be a bit more settled to start. Okay, Elliot, you good? Right, let's add the kill in. Keep going. Yeah, I'll just interject. So now, you know, when you're doing this drill, there are obviously a few different approaches. One of them is to practice the kill and literally rip the kill as often as possible. Another approach is that you want to really try to squeeze your opponent with a quality drive, force the loose ball, and then go for the kill. The other thing you can really work on is deception. So these sorts of drills are super effective if you can try to get your opponent to move back but then the ball is going short or show them the kill and make them move forward and then the ball is actually going deep. So at the moment both these guys are 
hitting. Yeah, that's a better squeeze. So I think they're trying to hit the perfect kill, but then they're catching a lot of side roll on the ball. That's a nice one. That's a good play. That's an opportunity to put that kill in. This has to be reset. This is a reset. He could kill that. That's a tough angle. He has to cut that ball to get it running into the side wall from that position. That's a good reset here. We can kill this one. He's not coming down on the ball. Let me give him this correction in a second. Nice kill. That's another good one. All right, so a couple of little tips. When the ball is high up, you're trying to kill a few shots, right? What's, what's your technique? How are you hitting that ball? Are you hitting it kind of like a flat push? Are you trying to slap the ball or are you trying to cut the ball? Not sure. Do you know what he's doing? When every now and then Ahmed's like hitting a kill from up here. It's too far down, right? Yeah, so when you're hitting the kill when it's high up, you're coming here and you're sort of like slapping the ball down with your racket. Try to see if you can, you remember we talking about open racket face? Try to keep that racket face a bit more open and see if you can cut around and down on that ball. Because that's, that's not only gonna keep it shorter, but it's gonna get it like spinning into the side wall. So that's one correction from there. The other correction, when the ball's a little bit lower, you're trying to go for the kill over here, which is fine. But you're still trying to like hit down on the kill from here. When it's low, try to like, come through the ball a little bit more with an open racket face so it's almost like a, like this kind of a push and then that's gonna it might not stay super short but you're trying to hug it along the side wall when you're trying to cut it when it's low then you're hitting side wall and stuff because the angle and the space isn't quite there and you hit some nice you had a nice cup like cut cut kills on the ball i think what you can try to do because ahmed needs to work on anticipation you should try to see is can you sell him a kill send him short and go along can you send him a drive, but like rip a quick kill? You want to try to break his movement a little bit. He has to get consistent on the high volley and a flatter cut from the back. All right, let's do another one or two minutes on this side. Yes, good job. That's good deception by Elliot as well. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that's a nice kill. That's a good squeeze kill again. Good squeeze drive. Shot. Here, let's swap you guys over to the other side. All right. some people practicing some boxing back here. Hopefully we'll dry out some of their moves.
that's a good line. And weighted stroke. A little bit of a mess. You can see Ahmed is putting the attention to detail. He's really consciously trying to find the target. Elliot is in a bit of defensive mode here. And right now the pace of Ahmed's hitting is causing Elliot's timing to get thrown off just a little bit. We're gonna progress this, progress this with the kill. Straight kill. Let's add the kill in. About a two minutes with the drill with the kill, and then we're gonna open up the counter draw progressions. That's a nice line. Uh, a little bit too soft with the reach. And there's a chance. Another one. Tight. That's a good push reset. Uh, lucky. The body's a little bit too open on that. The racket's coming across the body. That's better. Straight line through the ball. Oh, that was a nice little running one. Not over hit. Just cut on the ball to keep it squeezed along the sidewall. Mustafa Asa does that on the backhand all the time. It's just such a good setup shot for him. That's nice. A little variation with the big swing. So now in a minute, we're going to progress it. That's a nice line. Uh, that's the racket face control. Okay. All right, gentlemen. We're going to mix it in. We're going to put the counter drop in. The one thing, you're, you're actually hitting some really nice lines and you're hitting some nice variations with the kill. There's a bit of inconsistency when either you're stretched out a lot and then you're just kind of like tapping the ball instead of providing enough of a line through it. And then on some of the looser balls, when, you have, when you're trying to put pace on it, you're kind of opening up your body a little bit too much when you're going open stance and that's hooking the ball in the middle. So just try to keep that position when you're getting loose one. So now we're going to add in a uh, counter drop. And then you were struggling a little bit when he was like cranking the ball. You were, you got into defensive mode only, and then you couldn't get in front of him tactically, right? Because Ahmed is also, he's looking to consciously control the tee and he's kind of getting on the ball early. So you got to make a little bit more effort to get in front of him and not just get into defending mode. Okay. Straight, yeah. So now you can basically put, so remember long drop or kill with a counter. So it's essentially like an alley game now. Okay, and then the next one we're gonna do is gonna open up the other side as well. So for now, just play alley, okay? Yeah, just alley. And let's do it with a serve. So you're practicing uh, serve and serve return as well. So now the guys have just started an alley game. And the focus here tactically is for Elliot to get in front of Ahmed a little bit and use some variations just like that. So Elliot's working on deception because we've been trying to build an attack out of the backcourt for him. Ahmed is working on getting enough quality and looking to prove his ability to anticipate the ball in the front of the court as well. Because he's been practicing a ton in the back of the court over the last while, that he's, his anticipation into the front is, uh, out of the front is, needs a bit of work. And you know, if you look back over there, his wrist again, he didn't really cut the ball in that situation.
Uh, nice try. Yes. Yes. Kill. Well, it looked like he was going to kill that. That's a nice hold. Now, Ahmed um, needs to move off the ball a little bit better. Nice little counter sequence. That's a nice defensive lift. It's good pressure by Elliot, but nice squeeze by Ahmed. Oh. He went for the angle variation, try to break up the rhythm. Yeah, that's nice variation. That's the first time he's played a softer drop from that position, hence the effectiveness. Like a mid drop, rather. Nice scrape. That drop needs to be a little bit quicker by Elliot. He's cutting it a lot, but it's floating in as a result. Uh, it's going to be feedback. So one little thing, Elliot, you had Ahmed behind you, and then you put in like that one volley drop, but you're floating that volley drop in. From that position, you don't have to carve it so much, just kind of like, just quick, punch it in. That was good defending and pressure as well. It's good. That's a good serve. It's a kill. Yeah, that's nice. Good variation. I didn't get the depth. That's an interesting angle. You play a cross court killer, you just reset from that position when Ahmed hit it short. Yeah. The drop. Yeah. Cut. Good long. Good scrape. Yeah, that's a good variation. That's the risk with hitting something a bit short and possibly a bit short and fast is that you just don't give yourself time to recover. Oh, I like the variation of serve. It's a good early volley. But the challenge both of them are doing right now is they're both kind of hanging over a bit too much, looking to just volley everything. More so Ahmed a little bit than Elliot. That's a nice reset. Good defending. Yeah, that's a nice shot. That's a clean line. Okay. That's a better line. Oh, the scrape. Yeah, 
It's a nice racket head speed through that ball. It's right, right idea. Good change up it serves. That's just too short, same call. That's a good reset. That was an interesting one. Ahmed was going forward a little bit, but he adjusted position early enough. That's a nice line. Oh, that's tough. That's an attack choice. At least just not getting his defensive lobs in play right now. That's a bit better. Yeah, it's oh, a nice variation. I like that. We'll have a quick conversation with them after this game to talk about the uh, position on the tee and the poaching and how to make adjustments. That's a good squeeze. See, that was a good variation of the kill there by Elliot because he's always been counter dropping from that position. He's got tight stuff. So that back right corner, deep in the corner, we've been working on with Ahmed to help him dig the ball out of there. Oh, and that's game. Okay, so now the guys are playing an alley game with an option out of the front to go cross. So this is really testing now. It's opening up the court a lot more. And what we're really seeing now from a tactical perspective is can they... There are a few things happening. So each of them has their own aspect of the game that they're working on. Ahmed is working on... And Ahmed's in blue. Ahmed is working on his ability to anticipate shots out of the front because he's been spending a ton of time working on the back of the court. So now we're trying to get him to build his awareness and anticipation and um, ability to read the ball out of the front. Elliot is, has historically been a very classic attritional player. So what we're trying to get Elliot to do is build a little bit more variability and deception into his game by using attacks like that out of the back of the court. So now, so now he's putting a lot of pressure on Ahmed by setting up these short attacks like he did right there. And then getting, you see now Elliot's volleying a lot. I think there's a bit of contact. So we can see Elliot's picking up the pace a little bit. He's volleying a lot. He's getting, taking Ahmed short. That was a nice switch up by Ahmed. But now the risk here is that if you go short too soon, you're now gonna get punished by the other guy. Just a little bit too loose, so trying to be too cute with the cut. And I'm going to be doing the cameraman's job of just adjusting side to side. That's a good lift. Nice line. And forgive me if the camera work isn't the best. <laughs> See that it's a little risky. It's good defense. Nice line. That's a good squeeze. Yeah, a good choice to reset there. That ball was tight. Neutral rallies. That's on. Yeah, nice variation. Oh, a little bit too open. Nice early drop. Yeah. That's a good squeeze. Well done. 
That's on. Yeah, it's smart. It's a great feeling when you have the guy moving forward and then running back around. Another good squeeze. Yes, pull the guy forward. Elliot's been dropping a lot from that position. Yes. Scrape out. So that's the thing, when you build that pattern, so if Elliot's dropping a lot from that mid court, Ahmed is expecting that drop to come and then he's moving forward. And if you can feel the guy moving around you and then go along, see there's another example there of Elliot holding just that little bit extra. Yeah, that's nice. And there's a drop. The counter, that's a nice counter. Nice drop. That's a tough one to put in because you have to get your racket set so early. It was well executed by Elliot. Yeah, it's just too much time in the front of the court. That's the risk with going short too soon. If the quality isn't high, you just give the person so much time on the ball in the front. And the ball's clearly moving quite quickly in this court. So you run the risk of it just beating you purely on pace. And there's the cross. Yeah, that's the pace cross. The boys are opening up the court and playing full. This has to reach in a little bit more. Just adjust the camera a little bit. That's the hold. So Elliot, what I suggested is that he hold the ball a little bit more and try to get Ahmed going forward and back. And then for Ahmed, it's if Elliot is attacking, then we have to make sure that he neutralizes him well with some straights, straight counter drops and straight squeezers. That's a good line. That's a good line. Yeah, it's tough. That almost looked like it went out. And forgive my camera work here. I'm trying to watch the game more than I am. Manage the camera work so I can give them feedback. So Elliot's got his line and length looking pretty good. He's got Ahmed a little bit unsettled in the middle of the court. I have my manual gimbal, i.e. the tripod is in my hand as we're doing this. So I'm guesstimating where the ball's going. Ah, it's nice and early. It's good get. Ooh, the reset. That's the end. Yeah. That's the overhead punch on the reset. That's the one thing Ahmed has to figure out a little bit here. Let's try to give you guys a different angle. Oh, that's a nice try on the variation. That's short and there's a kill. Nice line. That's a good line. That's another good volley. Get on that. Yeah, nice kill. See now Ahmed for these couple of rallies, he's found his line in length. Oh, Elliot's getting a bit. Oh. Oh, that was close. So this is where for Elliot, he's obviously, he's a stronger player. He's training full time, PSA, etc. But he's getting a little bit cute. And this is where his mental discipline, that's a nice angle. That was a double hit. Oh, we'll let them play through it then. That was, right, they'll play a let, that's fine.
So I know Ahmed likes a lot of, uh, he likes fluidity. So I'm deliberately not interrupting the game to share suggestions. I'm gonna let him problem solve a little bit. And then after the game, we'll go and share some suggestions. Yeah, that's good digging. That's tight. That's early, that's a lot of pressure. So that's something that Ahmed isn't quite used to in terms of the pressure. Lots of folks walking around here. Forgive the background noise. So we have, yeah, it's a good exchange. That's a nice straight ball. See Elliot's Elliot's on it well. That's good pace on that volley. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. All right, let's chat with them. I think that's the end of the game. Or maybe not. I would have accelerated onto that and just played a drop because in my mind, Elliot was out of position. Obviously, easier said than done when you're on the court. Drop, good choice. <laughs> Reaching for the serve. Oh, that's a lucky bounce. Nick, yeah. Getting ahead of himself a little bit. Keep the discipline and structure. Good steal. That's unlucky. It's unlucky. All right. Folks, thanks for watching. I hope that you got a lot from this video. If you want to see the progressions to the drills, if you want to understand how to optimize additional drills and other skills and all of the good stuff we spoke about earlier from my coaching programs, send me an email at ahadadarperformance.com and we will get you set up. Now, as always, give the video a thumbs up if you in fact liked it, subscribe to the channel, and please leave a comment below if you'd like to see more such videos. Share it with someone who you think will benefit from it as long as it's not your number one arrival. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.